I'm trying a little bit of an experiment today. So I'm doing a bunch of different things. Um, my main experiment is that I want to try putting watercolor over top of graphite and I anticipate that the graphite might move a little bit with the water and I'm okay with that um, because I want to keep this loose and sketchy. My YYC Doodlebugs prompt for the day was old friends and so I'm doing this picture of my old dogs Daisy and Melvin's the other guy. Um, they really were the best of friends. This was taken in the summer of 2012, I think. Uh, we, this was at the very start of a road trip that we were going on to BC. And just like little kids, they looked so excited when I turned around and looked at them and they snapped this picture. So I just love this picture of the two of them. Of course, by the time, again, like by, like little kids, by the time we got to Cochrane, they were completely bored and asking, are we there yet? Uh, but I just, I love this picture, so I kind of want to do this picture. And, like I said, I'm okay if the graphite travels a little bit with the water, because it is, in the past, it's it's like a dream. I have neither uh, Daisy nor Melvin anymore, and I miss them a lot. They were really good dogs. They were both rescue dogs. I, a, a couple weeks ago, actually, I made another video for you guys of painting outside and I don't know if you saw the video but in the video I mentioned that I had started my picture and then I decided that my proportions were off so rather than waste the paper I just thought I would use the background and see how that works in this drawing so I'm just kind of you know doing a bunch of different things so I've done my basic pencil sketch with an F pencil which is similar to an HB so I wanted to put most of the pencil in with a, a medium pencil so that it wouldn't travel too, too much. But I am going to use a 5B pencil now to go in and bring out some of the darks. And I'll be back with you. Now that I've gone in and added some darker graphite, I'm going to go in and just really loosely, with a big brush, start adding in some color. And I'm going to use probably a, a yellow ochre combined with a... Sienna. My phone camera keeps cutting off, so and sometimes I don't realize it's been cut off. Now I'm just going in like really loose, and I'm not worrying about sort of coloring in all of the bits. I'm going to go with a bit more of the yellow ochre for Daisy. Oops. Too dark. It's too dark, so I'm gonna. I should have paper towel here, but I don't, so I'm gonna use my sleeve. There you go, I can work with that. And then I'm gonna let this dry, and then I will come back to it in a bit. Now that I've put some more layers of watercolor in. Um, I, I, I kind of wanted to keep the watercolor loose, and I actually wish I'd put less watercolor in. So, like, I wanted to kind of focus on the, the graphite and the line, so I'm actually going to go back in now with an 8B, or, yeah, 8B pencil, and bring out some of those lines again, and see what it looks like. I've gone in with some more pencil and of course my white gel marker, my Uniball Signo, which I love to bring out some of the highlights in the eyes. And I kind of wish that I hadn't gone in with quite so much of the watercolor, but I'm really excited to try this technique some more and explore it and see what I can do with it. Maybe concentrate on some more sort of linear or line drawings and just really loose um, watercolor almost like an ink drawing 
so I'm pretty much finished this piece. This piece took me an hour, I guess. And it was really nice to do a little tribute to Daisy and Melvin, the dynamic duo. So I'm going to sign my piece now and title it. And they really were the best friends and I love them so much and I miss them every single day. And um, they were really great rescue dogs. Anyway, I have to go look after my current rescue dog because she's whining and needs to go out and pee. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hello, this is Edith Rose, the art dog, and I'd like to talk to you about something that's really important today, and that's pet adoption. So, as many of you know, having an animal companion or two or three or eight in your life is really important. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. Uh, you feed us and keep us safe and give us love and exercise. And, well, we just entertain you for life, and we love you, and are loyal to you, like, forever. So, um, I, I'm a, I'm a rescue dog, and, well, I just want to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, so, before I was rescued, I was actually, uh, living in a little hole that I dug in the ground, and I had ten puppies to look after and try and feed. And nobody was feeding me or helping me with that. And I had to defend my little hole and my puppies against all kinds of meanies. Um, so I, I really don't know where I would be or my puppies would be today if, if, if we weren't adopted. And, and I don't really like to think about it. Um, but I know that I'm in a really good place now and I'm very happy and I feel love. And I, I, I just love my life now. Um, so if you're thinking about, you know, getting an animal companion, um, I just, you know, there's so many great adoption and rescue, uh, places all over the world. And so, you know, just, just check one out and, and find your new best friend and fall in love and, and take them home and look after them forever. Okay. That's the thing. Look after them forever. All right. Okay. So that's my, my, my rant of the day. Thank you.